Hello everybody, welcome to FC Amakosi Fan Channel. This is your boy Sanlem Chod. So today I'm going to be talking about Kama Biliat, guys. Yeah, I'm going to be touching on the latest news regarding this player who went AWOL. Anyway, guys, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and please continue to subscribe and continue to share. I really appreciate what you guys are doing. It really means a lot to me and may God bless you. So, guys, uh, as you know, as most of you case of Chiefs fan our away, Kamapilia he went a wall. Case of Chiefs tried to call him, uh SMS him, WhatsApp him, Instagram him, inbox him, DM him, everything unless but Kamapilia did not respond. Went a wall, he went quiet, and then he comes back on social media, he's posting with his friends, he's there in Zimbabwe. He decided to just vanish, uh, doesn't want to continue with the talks, does not want to entertain Keza Chiefs. Yeah, so guys, that's the latest. As far as Kama Bilad was seen, was seen on social media, posting with his friends. So, he went AWOL, um, contract negotiations. They ceased, and then Kelsey Chiefs came back last week, weekend. I don't remember when was it, but they came back and said that you know what, we are done with this pursuit. We are done looking for Kama Billiard. We are done negotiating with Kama Billiard. They were like, you know what, enough is enough. So I just want to get your views, guys. But before I get your views, I just want you to think about this. It looks like you are in a relationship and you love this person. You love your partner. You love your boyfriend. You love your girlfriend out there. And you're like, you know what? I love this person and I want our relationship to work. I'm going to give my all. I'm going to pamper my partner. I'm going to make sure that I buy him or I buy her gifts. I take her out to uh, spend quality time and all those things. And only to find out your person that their heart is not with you anymore. These people are open to go out on dates with other people. These people are open to DM one another with other another person. And then you keep on pursuing. You need to come to a point where you realize that, you know what, it seems as if you are loving yourself here. There's no one to share this love that you have. And then you have to cut ties. I feel like that's what happened between Keza Chiefs and Kama Billiard. Chiefs finally realized that, you know what, Kama Billiard, his heart is no longer with Keza Chiefs. It's fine. We cannot continue um, asking this person out, hoping that he's going to take the salary cut and sign a new contract. But what he said of late, because that's what this topic, uh, this episode is all about. I just want you to get his uh, way to get his side of the story, what he said on the news. But before I say what he said on the news, I just want us to look at the stats, guys. Just want us to look at the stats. Just want us to look at the stats. Come up, Billiard, he played for four seasons in Kaiser Chiefs. Guess what? He won nothing under Kaiser Chiefs. He won Zig. How many games did he play? He played in total 126 games. He played 100 and 26 games. How many times did he score? He scored 24 goals. In 126 games, he scored 24 goals. I don't know the ratio, guys. I did not do uh, the, the percentages, but you'll work out the percentages on your end. He scored 24 goals. And how many times did he assist? He assisted only 26 times. Only 29 times, rather. So, when you add these numbers in 126 games, his goal involvement, it was, uh, it was 53, 53 goals in 53 goals and assist. So it's 24 goals plus 29 assists. In how many minutes did he play? He played 10,238. He played 10,238 minutes. He scored 24 goals and assisted 29 times. In four seasons, that he we had or he had with Kaiser Chiefs in the PSL. How did he fare? How did he perform? He played ninety-seven times. He played ninety-seven 
times and they scored 16 goals, 1-6 goals. He scored 16 goals and assisted 13 times. That means overall his goal contribution, it was 29. 29 in 97 games, you do the maths, guys. And the number of minutes that he played, he played 7,745. It's really not on. And the number of times that he spent, like the number of minutes that he spent, he was forever not around. He was forever not around. He was forever in the hospital. He was forever in the hospital. Kama Pilat was forever in the hospital. He was always injured. And when he's back, he's underperforming. When he's back, he's underperforming. Uh, he'll be out for 50% of PSL games. He's out. He is out. Guys, I just want you to think about this. This is that relationship that you wanted with all your heart to work, but it did not work. Why? Because you find that, okay, you love this person, but this person, their heart is not with you. Or you find that this person is forever not available. You call the person, gets missed calls, doesn't come back to you. You call this person, they are nowhere to be found. That's how it feels to come up earlier. But yeah, anyway, guys, I just want you to um, listen to this uh, story written by citizens uh, from the paper Citizens uh, by Ngosi Squad. I just want to read out what it says. It's so, it's so interesting what this article says. And guys, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. But I would say to you that come up earlier, he sounds like a sport bread. He sounds like a sport bread by what he says. Like, yeah, but yeah, don't take my words for it. I'll read the article word for word. I'll read the article word for word. And I want you <laughs> to make up your own mind. I don't want you to be influenced by me. I just want you to get what Kama Biliad said. Yeah, it's such a dip disappointing uh, ending. It's such a disappointing ending because I had hopes that probably he was going to sign a contract extension with the lower salary. I mean, Kunet did that, uh, Shanti did that. And as for him, he says that, you know what, I, Andes. Imagine. Imagine he's saying that Andes. So, yeah, guys, the article, uh, it reads like this um where is it now nah, don't even find you i don't even find this article like a, like like how kesa chips was looking for kama billiard i'm not even finding it like where is it now like it's disappointing it's really disappointing so this is what kama billiard says like i said it's from uh the citizen written by mgosi squad I will read word for word. So the topic reads like this. Kama Billiard or Billiard said to have made his decision to leave Kaiser Chiefs long ago. You are still dating this person, but they are not dating you anymore. Chiefs seems to have lost any hope of the 32-year-old attacker coming back to the club. An insider at Kaiser Chiefs has revealed that Kama Billiard made his decision to leave the club some time ago hence he is not in the squad according to the source Bilat made it clear Bilat made it clear that he was not interested in staying in the club he, the, when he refused to have contract talks with the club management earlier on the season Bilat contract with Kaiser Chiefs expired in June and the club tried to negotiate a new deal with him in general. Some would say that, but I, why was Kesa Chiefs trying to renew a contract with a person who underperformed, who was always not available for selection because he was forever injured, earning ridiculous salary. But anyway, the article continues to read like this. But the former Mamelo de Santan's forward is said to have turned down the offer. Last week, Chiefs announced that 
they offered billiard a contract extension, but the player reportedly went AWOL. Karma was not has Karma has not been at the club for some time now. I'm not really surprised about what happened. He doesn't want to play for Kaiser Chiefs anymore because one, he feels like the club struggles are unfairly blamed on him. I don't know who said that. I don't know who blamed Kama Billiard. Oh, he felt like uh, I am Cristiano Ronaldo here, so therefore all eyes are on me. I don't know. Another thing too, he has been struggling with a lot of injuries. He has been struggling with a lot of injuries and no one was there for him set the source. Guys, like who's to blame? If you are forever injured, who's to blame? Do you want us to nurse you? Do you want us to nurse your feelings? Do you want us to take you to the hospital and then the hospital will, to feed you? Because you are come up early and you are the king. I know guys. I know guys. So because you are struggling with injuries, Football is a game of conduct. So if you are struggling with injuries and then the next thing you wanted the club to treat you, I don't know, like a king. <laughs> anyway, he was not getting the motivation in it at the club. Like guys, come up with that sounds like a, a kid, like a small boy or a small kid who just throw 10 times. I feel like you don't love me. You didn't love me the way that I wanted you to love me. I don't know. I'm really not surprised that Billard did not accept the new offer. Another thing, third, another thing is that the offer that has been tabled for him is really bad. He won't be getting the same money as he was getting. What justifies him to say that I deserve the same salary or I want a better salary when you haven't been playing and when you are performing i mean when you are playing you are not performing entitlement spirit that's what i'm i'm getting here he feels like he's entitled to be treated as a king is entitled to get uh better treatment than others is entitled for everything like everything karma is entitled for but I think he has plans for his future. Like it was obvious, hence he turned down the offer. But the question is, who's going to sign him? He just can't decline a new contract with the club when it does not have an offer elsewhere. This person sounds like he's a friend of Kama Billiard for him to know all this information. But anyway... With the marriage between Kama Billiard and Keza Chief simling over, it remains to be seen where the Zimbabwean will play his football next season. With teams in the DSTV Premiership already on the already on the latter stages of the preseason preparations, Chief seems to have lost any hope to sign the 32-year-old coming back or for him to come back to the club. I mean, they have According to it, they have assigned his jersey number, number 11, to Demoko Potan. Guys, they've moved on. They did say that we are ending this pursuit. What do you expect you to do? Go and kneel next to Kama Billiard and say that Kama, we beg you, please come back. Ah, no. no, guys. You don't fight for relationships that are already that are over. You don't fight for relationships that are over. Because those people, when you continue to beg them, they'll take you back with an intention to hurt you. You don't do that. Swallow your pride and accept that it is over. It is over. So I don't know who's going to sign a 32 year old who's an injury prone, who's earning 800 plus thousand a month. I do not know. It's not that. I'm jealous of Kamabilia that he's earning this much and 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 but the question is does it deserve being paid 800 plus a month for his goal contribution for him not being available for selection when the coach needed him 
I don't know. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Tell me your thoughts. But yeah, this is one relationship that I would say and encourage because I should say, you know what? Move on. If it means you go and get counseling, go and get counseling so that you move on. But you can't fight for this relationship anymore. Like, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So, guys, tell me your thoughts. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, guys. I want to hear your views. I want to continue engaging with you. Please continue to share these videos. I appreciate you. Those who've been doing that, I appreciate you. Those who've been engaging me. Guys, I truly appreciate you. And I wish you all the best. AFC, I'm a Kosi fan channel. Love you guys. And take care of yourselves, guys. Soon, I'll be back. I'll be back with another episode. Thank you.